Hello there, welcome to Black Jackal Gaming. Today we're going to look at White Scars and see how GW can give them some extra love. Now they are a mounted chapter in lore and they're in desperate need of some additional mounted options because there's not that all many available for them at the moment with only one character unit available. They do need the additional HQ choices because they only have Corsaro Khan on foot and they only have the chaplain on the bike so it's a must to have additional units for them. They do require a bit of a specialist unit to add a bit of flavour to the character, something that's a bit thematic for them and sets them apart from some of the other chapters. And we do need to take a little bit of a step away from the biker dudes as the army designed for their units because first and foremost they are designed to be the chapter that decides where and when the fight takes place. They're all about timing and feints, not just riding in on bikes. So what character units can you give them to get the best out of them? So they do desperately need the return of Khan on the bike as they only have the chaplain that can join outriders at the moment. You'd give them a standard twin link bolt rifle as outriders get, but you'd have to give them the Khan spear for melee. Now if you give them weapon skill 2, 5 attack, strength 7, minus 2 AP and 2 damage, and couple of this with devastating wounds, you've got quite, quite a nice profile there of going into a lot of different types of targets. Well, for his ability, you want to give him the standard captain ability, where he gets to use uh, a stratagem for free each turn. And you'd also want to give him a new one, potentially could him like the Lance of Heaven. So when the unit charges uh, an enemy unit, it gains plus one to its attack and strength characteristic at the same time. It'd be a nice little buff to our riders. So there's a couple of other characters that you can add, really. So if you're going to give him the Khan and the bike, you really want to double this up with uh, a sprue to allow uh, Corsara Khan to then on moon draken so then you've got a named character that can be mounted as well um, you'd want to probably change the the moon fang to strength seven because strength five um on a, a bike isn't really going to do that much damage you want to give him a little bit of a bump up you want to give him a new ability so he's got anzuk so you, you kind of want his eagle to do a little bit more than just sit there and look pretty so maybe you can have it where he ignores uh movement modifiers when they're advancing and charging uh, you can consider someone like the, the Falcon scouting out the area so they're aware of everything that's in the way so they can navigate it a bit easier. And his other ability being Trophy Taker, uh, it's not the greatest, so if you kill a character you get a CP. Now it's always going to be a bit hard to do that anyway, so getting a CP for him isn't really going to be that beneficial. Uh, but now that you are mounted, it'd be a bit easier to get to this, but rather than the CP, it'd be nice to gain a buff for the... The unit for the rest of the game, kind of like how sagas work with the space wolves. So if you do destroy a character model, you get plus one to the attack characteristics of the models in the unit, which would be quite nice with outriders. Then of course, if we are adding more characters, we do really need to add a storm seer. Now you do want to be in Tacticus armor, because it didn't really make an awful lot of sense for him to be in Gravis or in Terminator armor. You want to keep him with the standard librarian ability. Uh, of the Psychic Hood, which gives you the Funeral Pain against Psychic Attacks, as well as maybe giving him a new ability called Winds of uh, Chagoras. This will give the unit that he's attached to the ability to advance and charge, and once per game be allowed to re-roll a failed charge roll as well, adding a little bit more mobility to the army. You want to give him a Force Weapon, but you really want to give him either a Staff or potentially a Power Glaive to make him a bit more thematic, and it just have this standard Force Weapon profile. Instead of giving him the smite, we want to give him a little bit of something different, uh, like uh, Tagarius has. He doesn't have the standard smite, so we'll give him Storm Lightning. Now this wants to uh, be with two profiles, one being Stain Hits 1, and the other being the Supercharged version, the uh, the Witchfire version, where you get Sustain Hits 2, but it is hazardous as well. So you want it to be 24 inch range, and it's going to be a bit more of a horde killer this, so it's going to be uh, D6 plus 3 attacks, plus skill 3, Strength 5, minus 1 AP and 1 damage, and sustain hits 1. Now if you want to go for the, the focused Witchfire version, uh, you're going to have the same profile, but this time you're going to get uh, minus 2 AP, and you're going to sustain hits 2. So you are getting the hazardous roll to go along with this, and with that you get an additional AP and sustain hits 2, which is quite a nice little benefit to have, and quite balances out the fact that you could lose uh, 3 mortal wounds through this as well. So it wouldn't be the White Scars without an Outrider kit. We would want to see them have an upgrade kit because they are essentially a biker unit. It is what people think about when they think about White Scars, they think about bikes. So we do really just need to give them an upgrade sprue to go along with 
the Outrider kit and maybe have it count as a separate unit so you can take Outriders and you can take out the White Scars version of the Outriders as well. You want to swap out the chain swords for power weapons. Again, this would be glaives, potentially dows because they use them a lot. Or they have the option of the Chikoran spears. Uh, just give them a little bit of a different profile. So for the glaive, you'd go with four attack strength, five, minus two AP, two damage. It's basically a master crafted power sword. And you want to give them something a little bit different. So give them an anti-infantry four plus potentially. And then if you're going for the spear, you want to have a similar profile. Um, but this time it's minus three AP. Two damage still but this time anti-monster four plus so with it having that spear strike coming in you can see them targeting more things like um tyranid monsters where they drive it into them to kill them just to give them a little bit more uh, consistency with their damage for this profile you'd keep the turbo charge ability because it's fine as it is especially if you take them in the storm lance having that um six guaranteed six inch advance is quite nice when you can charge off the back end of it as well so we would want a new unit for them and be an elite unit to go along with it. Now, when we're adding new unit, there's, there's a unit that stands out for me from the Horus Heresy. And it's always the image of Mortarion on the bridge in darkness, wondering where everyone is. And then you see hundreds of power swords ignite in the gallery above them, lighting up the darkness. Now, these are the Sigira Mazen. And they are the bringers of vengeance. These are a unit that are designed to be a suicide unit that have betrayed um, the Legion to a certain extent. And they're sent out to redeem themselves, basically. They have to do something heroic to eventually potentially be pardoned. But uh, it's usually very likely that they're going to die in the process. So we'd want to equip them with what the uh, they used during the Horus Heresy being the Dao Swords, the single-edge curved blades. And this would be a power weapon, so it would be your, your standard 5 attack, strength 5, minus 2 AP, 2 damage being mastercrafted. But we do want them to be a little bit more, how should we say, heroic in the deeds, what they're doing. We don't want to throw them into a 20-man Necron squad and they kill a load and go down swing. And we want them to target meaningful targets. So we want them to be character hunters really we want to give them precision keyword anti-character four plus and devastating wounds now they're going to be wounding the majority of characters in the game anyway on threes and fours um, but having the character four plus just means the ones that are in terminator or gravis armor or you've got some of the other character uh, units where they are just a little bit more tough having that four plus is quite nice now they do have the devastating wounds but it is only damage two so it isn't all that effective anyway against the, the unit that might have a lot of, of wounds to cater for anyway. So we don't really want to buff them too much because we give them a good profile. So And because they are essentially a suicide squad, we don't really want any leaders to join them. We want them to be good as they are and not have to think of if you give this leader that gives this buff with this equipment, they then become this unit. No, we want them to be an individual unit that operates on their own and good based on just their data sheet and don't require any further buffing. So because we do want them to be a forward thrusting unit, one that gets into melee, sacrifices itself and tries to take on big bad targets, we want to give them fight first. So we want them to always have the opportunity to redeem themselves. And because they're not mounted, potentially give them scouts six inches at the start of the game so they can try and set up turn one and two uh, charges. And why not give them a fill no pain six plus? They're going to fight to the death, so they're going to try and um, uh, bypass any wounds that come and knock them off and keep fighting, even though they've lost an arm, they've lost a leg. They're here to redeem the chapter. We could give them another ability called the Path of Heaven. This allows them to reroll failed charred rolls, but the caveat to this as well is that the unit cannot fall back from combat. It has to go into combat and stay there and live or die by that combat. So to conclude, really, we've added three new character units. Two come with uh, within the one kit, so it's not all that much production for GW. If they redid the upgrades brew, and made it more like the Black Templars and, and a couple of additional bits. They could use this then to upgrade the standard librarian and outriders so you wouldn't have to produce an entire new kit to go along with them. And we do have the elite melee unit to go along with it, um, the Sigir Mazan that we've created. So we've essentially got two new kits and an upgrade sprue, which is going to give us three new characters, uh, a new mounted unit as well as a new elite unit so it's not completely out of the realms of what GW could do for the chapter. Now as well as this it would be beautiful if we got the Khan. I don't think we're going to get him at any point in the future unless they do uh, a big 
um, a Dark Eldar, upgrade the Drakari. If they do redo Vect, maybe he can come out of the warp gates and be set up for some future narrative around that. But outside of that, he's probably not one of the favourites to come back in the new, near future, which is unfortunate. Check out these other videos. Hope you liked what you see. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Pop over to Patreon and check out the memes and the blogging. And there's a couple of little extras over there as well. And a lot of it's free to access. See you next time.